components of many, many items. So if you go up to the Tools menu and you come down to Options, you can come into the Editor tab and underneath there is a formatting option. There's a bunch of other options inside of there as well, but we're going to start here in the formatting. So you personally might have different ways of viewing code. The standard Java way, which probably, I don't know, 70% or more of developers use, is to put the curly bracket on the same line. Now, I come out of a totally different coding background. I learned different languages initially, and that curly bracket on the same line becomes difficult. For me to line up, in this case, binary operator with a curly bracket doesn't make sense to me. So I want to put the curly bracket on a new line every time it comes up. So you can see I can reconfigure this. And so you can see in my code, I can line up my curly brackets and see how my code is structured. I'm not saying you'd prefer that. I'm saying that's what I prefer. And I can make that choice and save that code accordingly. So when I come back to my code, <laughs> excuse me, you can see the curly brackets are still on the same line. That formatter does not apply until I tell it to. So if I create a new file, that format would apply. Or I can apply that formatter anytime I want to using Alt Shift S F, excuse me, or in this case I right clicked right clicked and said format. And now my curly brackets end up on the next line, on new lines. I can do that with a number of items out there if I so choose. So if it's not braces, maybe I can talk about how the way things are aligned. I can talk about how do I align method parameters and things like that. I can talk about comments and where do I put comments and how do I choose to add comments and such. The other thing I can look at in formatting my code is how do I change the templates. So this comes with all this text up top. It's not entirely obvious how to make this happen, so I'm just going to show you where it is and let you kind of figure out how to search for the different items you might want to change from there. But you can see it puts, for instance, my name inside of here. It's picking my username, and on my computer when it got rebuilt, it didn't take my name, Tony. It took the name user inside of here. So I can go off and change this if I want to. So the way I do that is I go to Tools. Oops, hit the wrong button. Tools, and then templates from that menu. And inside of there you can see there's the Java menu which has a lot of different options inside of Java. So I can go to the Java class and say open it in the editor and it'll give me options. You can see it says author is dollar user which is the person who's logged in. I can change this if I want to. It's my machine. I'm the one using it. I can say this is going to be Tony Lowe writing the code. I save this up. It doesn't change this one right here, but if I go through and make a new Java class to test the template, you can see it makes the name Tony Lowe. It modifies that template for me. I can go through and do that on any of the templates, excuse me, it's on any that are out there, such as you know an empty Java file. Oh, that one's not an option for there. It doesn't have one set up for that. Java interface, any of these that are set up, or I can create a new one. In this case, it didn't have one. I'd have to add one inside of there. Um, Java main class here, though, I can open an editor. I can change any of these numbers, in, in you know, these items for how I construct a main. So if I don't like the to-do inside of here, I can take that out. I delete it every single time. Why don't just I just take it out and save that from there? So when I build it the next time, it'll come up without this text inside of there. Now, it's not essential that you look at any of this. By the way, this one right here is the license headers. Uh, that's what it said right there. I just, just so you can look inside of the oops, wrong button. Templates. And I can look underneath the license headers. License is here. Uh, license. Default license. I, that might be it. I can choose to take this out if I want to. I can do nothing inside of there as, as a choice inside of there. Um, and so if I said file, um, oops, let's just do write new Java class. You can see it shows up without this in there for now on. I don't have to go off and delete that stuff. It shows up without that stuff inside of there. So that's something you can do to modify and customize your environment if you so choose to do that. None of this is required. Just an option for you can see um, how you can really customize NetBeans to meet your interests and demands and make it your friend as you get more advanced into Java coding.